A United Nations report says in 2022, the world had piled up more than 60 million tons of electronic waste like outdated cell phones and laptops. That's an 82% increase from just a decade earlier. In tonight's In-Depth, CBS's Bradley Blackburn reports the value hidden inside these gadgets could help solve the problem. At eWorks in Freeport, New York, these piles of dusty TVs, PCs, printers, and other old tech are the start of an electronic treasure hunt. There is a value that would be there. Maybe it's a small value, but it's our job to really go through that process and evaluate each one of those components. Yeah. CEO Mark Wilkins' team yeah, first tests to see if electronics part. still work. If not, they're disassembled. That's all gold plating there? Yes because anything with a chip can contain gold and more than you might think. It's not just the gold that you can see with your eye, but it's also what's inside component chips. And the number of chips that are on it. If you take 1 million of these, you get something close to 70 to 85 pounds of gold. Professor Ali Abbas-Barat with Cornell University says there's more gold in a ton of e-waste than in ore mined from the earth. But to date, it's required harmful chemicals like cyanide to filter it out. So they developed a method they say is more efficient with less environmental risk. It uses an organic compound to absorb gold ions like a sponge. Our sponge selectively targets only gold, and that's a major difference. That gold can then be reused in solar panels, new electronics, possibly even jewelry. Easier, cheaper extraction could boost the financial incentive to safely recycle and keep toxic metals out of landfills. According to Cornell, global e-waste is expected to grow to 80 million metric tons by 2030. I think the world right now is, is much more aware of it. E-Works sees that growing pile as an opportunity. Founded more than a decade ago, they've created dozens of jobs for employees with disabilities who learn how to hand sort and take apart old tech. Our mission is to provide training, education, and employment for people with disabilities. So about 48% of our workforce are people with special needs. A chance to help more people and the planet made possible by mining gadgets for gold. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Freeport, New York.